hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Cars Craft Corner. Today, I am going to try out something that I've been thinking about for a while, and it is glass etching. I have this mug, and it is one of my favorite mugs that my cousin made for me, my fabulous cousin, Leanne and it was made with glass etching cream. So I have always wanted to try it and see how she made this really cool thing. So today I thought I would try it out with a couple of cups of my own, mugs, cups, whatever. And since this one is Harry Potter themed, I thought I would stick with the Harry Potter theme and I'm gonna make some butterbeer mugs. So, without further ado, let's jump on in. If you're brand new to my channel, thank you so much for being here today. Please feel free to subscribe if you want to become part of this weird crafting community. So the first thing I have to do is get a stencil to put on the mugs. And I've already picked them out. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. First one I created on Canva and the other one is one that I found on one of my Harry Potter SVG groups um, and these are just for my own personal use so I'm not gonna sell them or anything like that. I'm gonna print them on permanent vinyl because I don't think I have any stencil. So we're gonna print them, tape them on there, use our PPE, apply the stuff, and then wash it off. I'm pretty sure that's how easy it is. At least that's what somebody on YouTube told me, so. Also just wanted to say, this is probably my last video that I'm filming in my office as it is. Um, these cupboards are probably coming down this week, so. Sad, but we gotta, we're moving soon, so we gotta get a move on on the um, deconstruction. I had to take a minute there. I don't know why I was getting so babbly. Bamble, 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 bamble. Okay, first step in the process is to jump over to Cricut and get my designs printed off. So I'm gonna run and do that and I'll be right back. Bam! <laughs> Ugh, it's the worst. accidentally get the cream, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I think it's gonna look kinda cool. Now, I have to get ready to do it. To do the actual thing. Step one, apply the stencil. Step two, brush on a layer of this stuff onto the stencil and then wait one to three minutes. And then rinse it off. Need to wear gloves because this is acidic. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm applying it with a regular paintbrush. Here we go. Thank you. 
hard to tell if anything's happening. I'll just give it another minute and then we'll go wash it off in the bathroom. That's probably good. <sighs> kinda think it didn't really work. Well, it kinda looks like it did, but not very well, maybe? Well, here's the finished product. It, um, it's not very dark, and I just realized when I was washing it that I forgot a pivotal step, which was to clean it with alcohol, and I think that's why it looks a little bit splotchy, but it is on there. I mean, it's kinda cool, even though I messed up so badly. And I still have a ton of the etching cream, like I didn't use very much of it, so I'm definitely gonna try this again with my other mug. Uh, another time. Not today, that was a big hassle, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not that upset by it. I mean, it's kind of cool. I wanted to go for like the vibe of like the cups they would give you at the restaurant, and I feel like that is pretty darn good. And hey, now I know what the big deal is about this etching cream. But anyways, enough blathering on for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I put out a new video every Saturday morning, and I would love to see you guys here this time next week. But until then, always remember to be kind, stay curious, and get crafty. Bye for now. Hey, now I have two matching Harry Potter mugs. This is good for like a big glass of milk glass of chocolate milk. This is good for like a nice small glass of chocolate milk.